Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition where last time I had to cut the episode off and kind of in the middle of the action because it got to be about an hour long so sorry about that but we are going to pick back up with the finale of Omega here which has been super cool my first time playing it even though I wasn't sure but it definitely is so thank you guys for putting up with the split here and the actual episode will start in a second. That doorway leads to the Gozu That's a district. civilian. That leads to the Gozu section? Okay. Look out! Oh, ah, oh jeez. I was gonna run out there like I really was getting ready to just like book it. Oh my gosh. Oh, and there's a, there's a freaking... There's a sniper somewhere. Easy lemon squeezy. I can go up here. Sweet. This looks familiar. I liked it better when Morden Solis was here shooting up looters. Morden is dead. Pity. He was a very practical kind of Solis. He was. Uh, I love Shepard. He's dead. Um, I don't remember this. This is. I assume this must be his uh, facility that he had in Mass Effect 2, but. I like how they're like, we're gonna put up wanted posters, but like, oh my goodness gracious. But no one's gonna turn them in except for Cerberus soldiers, and they already know what's up. Take out the turret! Lovely. We're almost there. Okay, I actually do remember this part because I think this was where we had to come in. And you meet, yeah. There's like a there's a dying Batarian here, and you can save him. I don't know how she freaking recognized that room. They all look the same to me. But this hallway, and this was where like there were bodies burning in here. It was horrifying. Oh my gosh, I freaking almost shot you. Um, de- Alright, we're gonna keep going. I might have to split this up, but... What's going to happen to us? Well, you know, uh, you live or you die. That Talon scout hadn't found us earlier? I wonder if I hadn't told them to focus on civilians if uh, we wouldn't have these people here. Look at me just stealing stuff. Weapon bench, don't care. The Mad Prophet? He's still alive? Let's hear it, guy. Repent. Repent and restore your souls to glory before it is too Still going on about humanity. Being a blight upon. For the blight that is humanity stains all. Yeah. Of its and the only chance at redemption lies in 
In the word. In the word. Oh my goodness. We should be hiding back here. We should be out there fighting with them. I mean, you can. Really what? Shotgun Omniblade. Oh, so I can have like a, I can attach that to my shotgun, and then when I melee people with my shotgun. Oh my goodness gracious! It's gonna be awesome. I feel like we're like re I don't know. Like I I don't want to call it too early because I'm like, what if the next part is only like 15 minutes Larry long? Here. Something's not right. Cerberus is still on my station. Of course something's not right. Not what I was talking about. Really? I'm checking this out. Going radio silent. What the hell is she doing? Trying to play hero, probably. You guys don't have the armor for that. Where's Nyreen? Scouting ahead. We've got our hands full holding this area. I like the, um... She's going on to afterlife. What? What? I, oof. Oh, nice with the Cerberus logo up there. What is she oh. doing? Uh oh. Uh oh. <gasps> you know what those look like? They look like the. Oh, I can't remember. They, I think they talked with an eye. They look like the statues you see on, um... Oh my gosh. Eos? Whatever that final planet, the Prothean planet. They have those statues that everybody thought were Protheans, of like the tentacle looking faces, kind of. Watch Arya kick butt. Like I'm ready. I'm here for this. Petrovsky dies now. Yeah, I'm. I'm here for this. I will just sit here and watch. I will open doors for you. Nyrene Kandros was a good soldier. It's a shame she had to die for your petty ambitions. You're a dead man! Kandra. No, wait! Yeah, I don't, I don't know what that was. Okay, dang it. It is gonna be all about me. What now, Petrovsky? Divide and conquer, Commander. Kandros killed the adjutants we hadn't finished experimenting on. They are fully under our control. The prototypes for our future army. Release Arya from uh, the stasis generators. Keep shepherd away from those generators. Okay. Go, uh, go, go in, I guess. Oh my 
gosh, oh my gosh, it hit so hard. I was like, I'm gonna put Reeve on, and we're gonna gonna take. I should have put Reeve on earlier. Uh, okay. Up here. Come on. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're right here. Oh, wrong. Whoa. Okay. Cool. That was cool. Why can't we reload while we're rolling? Go, go, go. Why can't we reload while we're running? Also. So cool. Okay, what are we doing now? It's so, it's so quiet. Oh my gosh. What's up now, sucker? Oh yeah, this is Arya's uh Arya's command center. Cease and desist all aggression. It's over. Commander Shepard, I surrender myself into your custody. That's not gonna happen. That is the most pathetic thing I've ever heard. <coughs> yeah. Shepard, I'm unarmed. And I can give the Alliance intel on the elusive man. You know, I don't really <coughs> think... You'll say anything to save your skin. I, I let you escape, Omega. I deserve mercy. Is this true, Arya? Yes. Cerberus had successfully taken the station and he let me go. Do you feel that, Oleg? That's death. Only inches away. Remember this feeling. He's gonna die. He can't remember. 
oh. my partner and for the war against your master. You better cooperate. Oh my gosh, I did not expect that. I thought they'd like Take him, Shepard. You and your alliance can decide his fate. Just get this filth off my station. Commander. Glad to see you've had a Wasn't me. calming effect on Ms. Tolo. You should probably stop talking. I tried talking sense into her one time. I look forward to hearing how you pulled it off. Don't assume you know where this is going. What? From what I understand, high-ranking alliance. Now that I've seen what you're capable of firsthand, maybe Arya's instincts were right. So, you're going to execute me. I'm your prisoner. You can't just mm. shoot me in cold blood. I mean, I could. If you don't tell the Alliance everything, I'm giving you back to Arya. Bray, get him out of here. <laughs> He's like, I gotta take, I gotta take orders from two girl bosses. Like they don't do facial expressions. You've got good control, Shepard. I know it's hard to resist that impulse. I've been waiting to kill that man for months. Walk around with you for a few hours and I go all soft. You're like a disease. I didn't do it, it was Nyree! This victory came at a cost, Arya. It's not soft to recognize that. You sound like someone trying to sell something. I admire your tenacity. And thanks to you, I have Omega. Woohoo! Um, but I don't know. I just like, did Nyreen really die? I was really hoping she could stick around. When, maybe there was like a decision. You know what? I bet if I hadn't told. Well, I don't know. I'm not gonna say I bet, but I'm partially wondering if I hadn't told her to save the civilians, if she would still be alive. Dang! 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 I mean, it's. Like, it makes sense, right? Like, save people if you can. But still, it's hard to lose someone you like. Like, I didn't know Nyreen very well, but, like, I liked her a lot. She's the first female Tyrion in the series that we get to see, and I killed her. So what's your plan? There's a lot to rebuild. Starting with this. Command center. It may take some time to remove the general stink from my throne. But I hey, if I'll ever really enjoy the pole dancing in here again. The citizens of Omega have been through a lot, Arya. Try to remember that. How can I forget? There are reminders everywhere I look. Maybe it's Nyrene's sacrifice. Worry. I'll honor our arrangement. Troops, ships, and a mountain of Izo. You earned it. Then I'll be going. Bray will take you back. I have a station to whip into. Bray ship. is like, can like, he like feels an itching on the back of his head. He's like, I feel like more orders are coming on. Maybe it's Nyrene's sacrifice that had Arya. Um, Citizens of Omega. Spare. Hear me. I, Arya Talok, have given you back your lives. My rule is reignited. My hand is on the controls once more, and I will not let go again. Each of you owes a debt. Gain my favor by rounding up the remaining Cerberus invaders and... And we will cast them from our home. Then bury and mourn our dead. My methods haven't always been popular, and I can't promise that will change. But securing this station and everyone inside it is now my primary purpose. No one will imprison us again. We may be bruised. We may be bloodied. We are Omega. You always get these crap details. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Not this time. You got a galaxy to save. Let's get you off this rock. <laughs> you always get the crap details. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, look at that Cerberus guy getting dragged off. That's good. And she put the freaking. I just saw the pole dancing. 
um, video. Dang, this is, that's weird. That's weird. To be back at this now, that's very weird, honestly. I've been in Omega for so long now. Dang. Freaking, hang on, let's see. Is the, dang it, that Omega one's gonna sit there just like the other one that I didn't do, the Eden Prime one. Ugh, that's so frustrating. I wish they would, like, put them away, be like, failed or something. I don't want them sitting here, close, like, cluttering up my freaking missions that I have to do, you know? Maybe there's a mod I could get. But then that might actually mess things up. I wouldn't want to do that. But, dang. Dang. Man, I really wanted Irene to stick around. I thought she, I don't know, I thought it was plot armor, but... And she just, like, eviscerated herself. Like, no... Like, incinerated, I guess, rather. Like, there's no body left. But I think she'd be proud of what Ari is doing right now. But it wasn't me that did it. Freaking Nyreen was the one talking to her the whole time. I was just there being like, yeah, okay, let's go. Come on, come on, kids, let's go. We gotta, we gotta do this thing now. Come on. <laughs> like, dragging two arguing toddlers on leashes. Uh, I don't know, I guess, what is it, the harnesses? Harnesses. I don't know if any of you have ever experienced this, but <laughs> the, the little, like, harness things you can put on your kids to uh, keep them from running off. Yeah, my mom did that to us when we were little. Uh, just in the Mall of America, which is huge, so. <laughs> anyway, wow. So that was the Omega DLC, which I had never played before, so that was really, really awesome. Um, I really did like it. Um, and I think, well, here, really quick. Let's run, include the part so, Sarah, your where we go look at our the one who joins assets. No, I cut ties. Uh, yeah, I want to go see what, we, what we've what we got here. I think Nyreen could have been an asset if she had lived. I don't know. I am, I am making this up. I am not. Is this part of the Terminus? Nope. Omega Izo Horde. She started transporting her Izo supplies to the Alliance, and the initial delivery was somewhat hampered by the Alliance security unease and dealing with the group of most think of space pirates. They are space pirates. The transfer is ongoing. To facilitate the process, a new freight company flying under the Omega flag has been founded. The Omega Coalition of Cargo Transfers is a ragtag group that has nonetheless proven to be unerringly successful in both the swiftness of their deliveries and the security of their cargo. <laughs> the Omega Coalition of Cargo Transfers. <laughs> That's, I don't know why it sounds funny. Uh, it's great that it's a, a nice union name. Though compromi com compromise, comprised of a disparate range of ships, the Omega Rum, <laughs> Rum Fleet, <laughs> what does Rum stand for? Has proven itself, oh, the uh, rating, oh, dang, I don't know. Has, pro has proven itself to the Alliance in every way that counts. Their first engagement occurred during the orientation. During orientation, when the Alliance ships they were meeting were overwhelmed by a Reaper attack, Rum was told to avoid the rendezvous point, but instead they followed Fusion, their flagship, straight into combat to save the doomed ships. The Alliance ships were saved, and Rum, recklessly led by a cheerfully ruthless Captain Gerald, she is that, yep, has since been detailed to the most troubled Reaper fronts, and each time has helped to turn the tide. Rum landing parties have also have a sterling of some of bloodthirsty reputation, particularly when up against Cerberus Phantoms. Okay. I really, I didn't want to keep this guy. I actually really didn't want him to die, but, like, uh, because it reminds me of, like, the whole, like, Nazi thing where, like, if you were, like, the Nazi doctors and stuff where some of them, if they defected, were, like, led pretty cushy lives, you know, despite having done really terrible things. Like, America, like, would let them come over and be scientists for them, which I just think is, like, a really bad idea, you know? Like, uh, like... That seems like a big security risk. Also a big moral, like, dilemma. Like, I don't know. But, like, I get it. Like, in war, like, when you're... Like, this is an active war thing, right? Where, like, you need... You need the intel, you know? For him, right here, in particular. And so... Uh, but he only gives you 30. And I, I wanted to shoot him so bad, but I think my shepherd wouldn't. I've gotten a lot bloodthirstier as I've gotten older, honestly. Like, I just am like, I don't care. Like, um, I, I mean, I do, I think that's part of it. I care very deeply, you know? And so I'm like, no, like you did bad things. 
Like, you need to pay for it. But also just dying doesn't make you pay for it. You know what I mean? And I love a good, um, what you call it, uh, not retribution arc. Love that, too. Um, not retaliation. Um, oh, my gosh. What is the word? Like, rejuvenation or whatever. I talk about it all the time with Logan. Um, but where you... You know what I'm trying to say, though. I think you guys know the word I'm trying to say. Where it's like, re-something. Re... Ah, it's gonna bother me forever. I have like seven other words that are not it. Anyway, those arcs were like they were they undo what they try to undo what they've done, right? And like you you can never undo what you've done, you know, to the people that you've hurt and the people you've killed or whatever. But um, you can spend the rest of your life trying to make things better while knowing that it will never change what you did. You know what I mean? Um, those kind of arcs I live for. This guy is not going to do that. <laughs> He's in Alliance custody, being interrogated at undisclosed, dis undisclosed location. Due to the nature of his work on Omega, the interrogation and debriefing team is being led by both military and science experts to ensure the veracity of Petrovsky's information. The location of an important service laboratory has been provided by the prisoner and has since been destroyed. Alliance officials believe Petrovsky can still provide substantial critical information on Cerberus activities and are likely to approve the asylum procedures that have been started by the Alliance legal aid assigned to Petrovsky's case. See, this is, that's frustrating. He's like, I'm going to live a pretty cushy life after all the terrible things I did and like the terrible scientific experiments that I backed. Like, I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. And I wish we could get, I don't know. I wish he could get what's coming to him, but alas, not gonna be the case, I think. But we'll see. But thank you all. Oh, no, the thing is, that, like, his information could potentially save lives, but he could also be a freaking mole. Like, he could, he's very intelligent. Like, having him in here seems like a bad idea. Like, he, he could give a, he could be giving the, in, the freaking whatever man, the blue-eyed man, <laughs> the, the, I'm like the influence man, he's not a freaking YouTuber, um, elusive man, anyway, I just feel like it's a bad idea, but, freaking, it's what Shepard would have done, because the intel he has could save lives and further the war effort, so you have to sometimes do terrible things, let terrible people walk away, despite bunches of good people dying. I'm frustrated by that. <laughs> but thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And an extra special shout out to Adam, my tree tier patron, who is the super bestest. And I very much appreciate your support, my friend. I hope you're doing well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to my forest tier patron, Christopher, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me and the channel and just been super awesome. And I love reading your comments. It, like, the long ones are great. Like, the long comments, like, I know sometimes you're like, oh, this is super long, but it's, like, super awesome. Like, and at this point, at some point in the next couple days, I'm going to go through and I'm going to respond to a bunch of comments because I need to do that in batches. <laughs> but um, thank you again so much for your support and thank you all for watching. I hope to see you in the next one.